I cannot quite believe that I'm filming this video, but here we are. Awesome is here. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. Today I figured I would get ahead of the game. Autumn is fast approaching all of the stores right now, especially Home Sense. I've seen the range have got all their autumn stuff in as well. I don't know if our local one does, but I am gonna check it out today and anything that they do have, share it with you. I actually first saw autumn stuff in Home Sense a few weeks back now, which I did a TikTok on and um, an Instagram reel as well. So they've, they've actually been out a while. It's, you know, it's not like the odd thing. They've got the aisles of Halloween stuff in now, which is crazy. And I just, I, I kick myself every year when I say, no, it's too early, I'm not interested. Like as much as I love autumn, let's just, make the most of the summer and then maybe like in late August, early September, then start thinking about autumn. It's the end of July and we have had the stores supplied with a load of autumn stuff. Crazy, I know. But for any of you autumn lovers out there as well, then hopefully you'll enjoy this little taster of what's to come throughout the next, I'm gonna say a few months because I'm still very much in summer content mood. This is just like a bonus little early upload that I thought I would throw in there and take you guys shopping with me, see what is in stores that is autumnal. And um, yeah, anything that I do pick up because I don't want to leave it too late and then miss out on the opportunity. I'm not gonna go overboard and buy loads of stuff. Um, but if there is anything that I particularly like and think that will go straight away, I will pick it up and share it with you at the end of this video. Before we do head out to the shops, first you make sure you're set and ready with a nice cozy drink, put your feet up, light a pumpkin spice candle. Get one out of the stock from last year, why not? Make yourself a pumpkin spice latte, why not? Um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. I do have a bit of a haul to share with you before we do get going, and it is from a brand that I've never shopped before, but one that I have fallen in love with. It's from a brand called I Want One Of Those. I will leave links to everything that I show within this video down below so you can shop them, but it's um, it's actually a Huck Group brand. So they've very kindly reached out and wanted to work with me on today's video. So I have picked out a few faves to share with you in this video, but I've also collated a load more bits onto a kind of landing page, which again, I'll leave linked in the description box so that you can click through and see all of my favorites from I Want One Of Those, which you can shop. And what's more, with a discount code, which is so kind of them. You can use the discount code FREYA20. Again, I'll leave it in the description box below along with any exceptions, and that will get you 20% off your order. So if you haven't actually heard of I Want One Of Those, it's the perfect sort of online destination for all things homeware, gifts. They have the option for personalization as well. They consider themselves as a cove of like quirky Nordic, which is definitely a trend I love, and niche products with a style to suit everybody needs and tastes for any occasion. So if you've got some um, occasions coming up where you want to maybe have a look for some gift ideas, then hopefully some of these items will give you good ideas to, um, to shop. Oh, in fact, okay, let's talk, okay. <laughs> let's forget autumn and jump straight to Christmas because they have so many amazing fun games and things on their website and I saw that they have a Christmas edition of Monopoly. I can't believe we're doing an autumn video already in July. Not only that, we're including Christmas too. I did pick up some books as well. They've got quite a collection of books. I did get one from Sarah Knight, which is, I'm sure you've seen her books before. She's like best-selling author of various different kind of guides. If I come in a bit closer, you can see all of her other titles here. But what I liked about this one is that it's a journal, so it's a bit more guided. It's got sections where you can actually fill it out. And you know me, I love a journal, I love a puzzle, I love just being able to jot stuff down. So I thought that'd be quite a nice kind of interactive read and then i did also get this book which i thought looked really interesting it's by lucy sheridan it's the world's first and only comparison coach she's on a mission to help you overcome ranking yourself and progress against others this is called the comparison cure and again it does have a couple of sections which are a bit more interactive that you can like fill out and sarah knight has actually reviewed this as a brilliant book a roadmap to reclaiming ourselves so i thought i would give that a try as well and then this is more of like a display kind of coffee table book style book that you could maybe 
style up in a kitchen or near a bar area if you've got one on a bar trolley and it's the alchemist cocktail cookbook master at the dark arts and mixology we've got a couple of alchemists in manchester and i love a cocktail i feel like i way prefer a cocktail to a glass of wine it's just my preference and um yeah oh my god look see banana groni smoky old fashioned with maple oak and smoke yum oh a cinnamon apple how nice does that sound so yum but anyway so i thought that was really good then i've also got a puzzle said i like to do my little puzzles and things i've got a jigsaw this one this is from the calm club london so piece by piece puzzle that's the actual image and it is a load of fallen leaves so again kind of themed appropriately for autumn it comes in this linen bag which i really like the fact that you can just kind of keep this when i eventually get around to doing a jigsaw but i'll be able to do it from this image again this kind of ties in with uh mindfulness and taking time out i feel like doing this as a job is it can be quite consuming you know everything i do whether it's my hobby or my job my work everything is related to online so to be able to switch off is quite hard for me even when we go away and wanting to document it if anything fun or interesting is happening in my life then i'm wanting to share it so to be able to switch off, I think that's why I really enjoy doing puzzles and things because it's the one time that I'm not on my phone and that's why I like to do it with a pen and paper as well as opposed to like puzzles on my phone. I just like the switch off. That for me is what it does. Anyway, um, the next thing that I got is actually something for Barney. How cute is this? There's loads of um, ranges of products from this men's society, which again, make great gifts. This is called the Good Dog Pamper Kit. It's got a shampoo, a cologne, and a grooming brush in there. There's the little brush. There is the cologne. And this would even make a good little gift for maybe someone who is a soon-to-be new fair baby mum or dad. And then the last two items that I got, two canvas bags. One, the larger one is actually a laundry hamper, a laundry bag. And I just loved the kind of minimal font to that. It's just a drawstring top. And it basically says, what does it say on the bottom there? Laundry, noun, clothes and linen that we need to be washed or that have been nearly washed. And then let's show that it's performed repeatedly. This is going to be quite good for Tom because I've got a laundry basket that I do use to take things down into our utility. Um, but obviously, Tom has two flights of stairs and he always brings his full washing basket. And then never takes it back up. So I'm going to keep that for him to be able to put things in there to take up or to take down and then to bring them back up once washed. So yeah, anyway, got that for him. And then again, Barney related, this little sack of the dog's things. Again, I really liked the kind of minimal print and font to this. Simple little bone there. Again, drawstring top. So this would be good to just, as and when we maybe go to like our families or something or going on a little day trip and we need to just take a few of like Barney's bits, his bowls and water, some treats, all that kind of stuff, then we can throw it in this with like a toy, his lead, etc. etc. So yeah, that is the last thing that I picked up. So thank you to I Want One of Those and um thanks for working with me on today's video. Again, don't forget to check out the link to my landing page, which I have loads of other suggestions and ideas of some of my favourites from their website. That will be linked in the description box along with the discount code Freya20 where you can get 20% off. And without further ado, I feel like we should hit the road, get to HomeSense first, and then I'm going to go to the range. I don't think there's anywhere else I'm going to go, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see where the day takes us. Let's get on the road. I'm going to wear my new trainers. I feel like I need to test the waters with my Aneen Bings. So if you've not seen them yet, I do have a Farfetch code, which is FF off if you do want to get a discount. But yeah, I'm wearing them. In fact, I'm with all the Neen Bing today. I've got my Neen Bing t-shirt on as well. Just some Lululemons. Very running errands type outfit. So just a reminder, this is the home sense that is at a place called Hanforth Dean. They had quite a few aisles full of Halloween bits, like dedicated Halloween things. But then they also had things dotted around the rest of the store. So definitely bear that in mind for when looking. Wish that. As 
always the favourite section at this time of the year is the candle section. They had quite a few sand and paws, which are the candles that neutralise dog odours, pet odours, as well as having that kind of autumnal scent. So pumpkin harvest looked lovely. Then I did also check out the rest of the kind of candle section, saw those urban apothecary ones, which were great value for money. They also had lots of cushions, big bolster cushions for sofas, beds, as well as smaller linen ones as well. These ones I really liked, but they were just a little too orange for my liking. And of course they had all the cozy throws too. I will do everything I can for you. I was quite surprised how much kitchenware they had within the kind of Halloween theme. I really liked these white pumpkin ramekins and then they had the Le Creuset bits out in the Halloween-y kind of colours. Loads of mugs to choose from and they even had a Starbucks bargain buy at 30p. I love the kind of farmhouse style to these KitchenAid um, kitchen towels. They came in a set of two and they had loads of different designs to choose from. necessarily for Halloween or autumn but I really liked these kind of wooden trays with the writing on they kind of like give that farmhouse style which you could add some white pumpkins to or something to make it a, an autumn decoration but then have it out the rest of the year too maybe we should hurry up and see all the deal And then last but not least, they had quite a selection of bath mats, which I don't think I've ever noticed them having Halloween-y or autumn bath mats in before, but there we go, they do now. And of course, a few little additional touches within the pet aisle too. So I'm going to say Home Sense was a success in that there was a good amount of range, a good amount of stocks, because I'm sitting outside the range, <laughs> a good amount of stock to browse. More than I thought, obviously it's the standard classic majorly Halloween-y stuff rather than nice cutesy farmhouse autumnal stuff. So I only picked up a couple of bits, but I'll show you them show you them when I get back home. Next up the range, just parked up and uh, let's head on in. Full stop Can't believe I live in your thoughts I think about you all the time Morning, evening and midnight Such a wonderful delight Forgo Give up everything that I I am home sweet home now and I thought I would take you through to my filming room 
I can show you some of the bits that I bought. So, I can't believe I'm sharing autumn stuff, but there's bound to be someone out there who will appreciate this video. <laughs> Let me know if you do. Did quickly nip into home bargains, um, but more just to get a couple of essentials. I might as well just show you them as well. Tumble dryer sheets, now that I have the luxury of owning a tumble dryer. Some 1001 carpet fresh pet friendly. This is what I was after in particular, the worktop that we've got down in our utility. There's a slight mark on it, so I'm gonna, they've recommended to use this to remove any marks. And then I also just got a couple of plug hole and blockers. Again, we've got the dog wash station down there. So I've got this pet hair dissolver one and odor eliminator and then just a bath through one i also got a couple of these barney's never had them before but apparently they are very popular they're the licky sticks or no doggy licks which is like a it reminds me of froobs do you remember getting froobs this essentially is like in a packet which i've seen in the heat people have been putting in the freezer for their dogs and then i also just got some mints oh no last thing i suppose this is a little on the theme um cinnamon churros if you like the curiosity cinnamon um cereal anyway try the churros ones these are even better they're really like crunchy and just delicious that is everything that i got from home bargains i did get two things from the range of which the first thing I actually saw this on their Instagram, I'm not gonna lie, and as soon as I saw it, I was like, that is gonna be one of those items that you just cannot get your hands on. A little glass pumpkin. Now this is heavy, this is solid, thick glass, and it's called an autumn pumpkin bowl with lid, 17 centimeters. I'm really gonna strip it back this year and not have too much garish Halloween autumn things. I'm just gonna have nice white and glass same with the door wreath as well there were some beautiful wreaths from the range there was one in particular that i was tempted for but then yet again i just quite like the plain wheat wreaths or the baby's breath that the um the white company do so i figured i'm just gonna keep with something like that but how gorgeous is this love that so that was 8.99 did pick up this i do um use bin buddy all the time and i've just run out of my festive one i think they pretty much sell these all year round to be honest with you but it's my favorite scent that they do it's the orange and cinnamon they've got the spray as well in there but i've already got one of those with quite a lot left so i thought i would just stock up on that and then home scent i got this gorgeous cozy blanket cozy throw it's like a fleecy kind of fabric it is a little on the halloweeny side i would have preferred it if these were just plain pumpkins so i feel like this is maybe better suited to closer to halloween but regardless it's a gorgeous blanket i'm actually just to be honest with you thinking of this for in barney's bed i switch out his blankets all the time it just saves me having to wash his bedding all the time so um yeah i'm a throw kind of person even on our sofas the sofa just has loads of throws on it all the time so that i can easily bung them in the wash so yeah i was thinking even just for on barney's bed it's 19.99 this one was they did have some cheaper ones at 12.99 though speaking of barney i did also just pick him up they had loads of um halloween dog toys actually i didn't get one on this occasion maybe close to halloween you can get one of those but we're a while off that yet. But I did just pick up these pumpkin treats. Pumpkin and chia seeds these are made from. All natural. Two twenty nine, And then I also got these for myself. I remember that I got these last year. And they are delicious. They have loads of different flavours. They have like a birthday cake one. It's like a little rice cake covered in cinnamon sugar. With the icing on as well. £2.79. The good thing about this, they're only 90 calories per 21 pieces. So they're pretty low calorie. So a good little sweet treat for if you're trying to watch your weight. Another food item that I got is this pasta. How adorable does this look? Very like farmhouse style. Fresh, well not fresh pasta, it's actually dried pasta. But I always have a stockpile of pasta because pasta for me is such a go-to meal option. It's so easy. Even for me, it just drizzled with some olive oil, salt and pepper, and then we have like a rotisserie chicken, a bit of salad on the side. Just, it's delicious. £2.99 for this huge bag. And yeah, love me some pasta. Last but not least, if you remember, oh God, that was loud. <laughs> if you remember from 
um, a previous Home Sense video. I bought a load of new crockery, of which we're going to start using soon, actually. We've kind of got rid of all of our old sets, and we're going to start using the new one. Now, I got, I think, eight of everything, apart from the large plates. The large plates was the only thing that I only had four of, and ever since, I've been keeping my eyes peeled for four more, and they finally come back in, so... They're, they're kind of like duping the Neptune ones, if you've seen the Neptune ones. I do actually have one Neptune <laughs> little side plate in this style along with the mug, just for my, you know, individual treats whenever I fancy like a nice coffee and a piece of cake or something on my Neptune um, plate and mug. But for the most part, for the full set, I've got the TK Maxx ones. These were only $3.99 each. That's everything that I picked up. So I hope you don't think I'm too crazy bringing this video to you this soon, but um, yeah, I just know that if, if someone uploaded a video like this this early, I would appreciate it as well. So there's bound to be one person out there that will enjoy this video. I hope you guys have. We'll leave the link in the description box along with, yeah, the landing page to my suggestions and also a discount code for you guys to make sure to take advantage of, use while it's there, and happy shopping. If you do spot any other autumn finds in the stores, please, please, please do send them over to me on Instagram. Just message me, let me know, because you guys are my eyes out there too in the shops, you know? So if ever you spot something, I'm like right in there. I'm gone, I'm out. Out of the door, grab my keys and gone. And I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye guys.